So I just wanted to do a quick overview of Pixelmator. I got it through the uh, Apple App Store. And I wanted to see because I was looking for a good, simple image editing program, something that does all the basics. But I didn't need something that was extremely robust like the Photoshop. Photoshop, although it has a lot of tools, sometimes it's more tools than I really need. Um, sometimes I just need to do some very, very basic video editing. So I went ahead and bought the Pixelmator just to see if it would work out for me. And it, so far, it's actually worked very well. It's, very, it's a very simple program to use. It has a lot of familiar options and editing tools that you would typically have in... Um, that you would typically have in a image editing, cropping, selecting. Um, it has pen tools, eraser. It is the eraser just like you would normally have. So it has, um, you know, room for text. So you can type your text like you like you would in Photoshop. You can resize your text. So it has a lot of the, the, the basic options. Some of the, you know, some of the layout's a little bit different, takes a little bit getting used to from something like Photoshop. Personally, I felt like this was worth the price um, considering the amount that you would pay in the long run for Photoshop if you're not using something so robust. It was great for basic video editing. There's there's actually a you know a handful of other YouTube videos that actually give you a lot of good tutorials on how to use it. But for the basic, just comparison to something like Photoshop, it's worth, I think it was worth the price. I, I use it all the time and it does all the, all the basic tools. You got your shapes like you would. Uh, the one thing I really wanted was something that supported layering. Not all of your video editing or uh, image editing programs that you can buy support layering. I think layering is probably one of the most important tools you're going to have. So overall, it's it's a really good program. It has all these here. Let me let me just bring up all these options. So you can just kind of see all the basic stuff that you would have: the rotations, the resizing, the trimming, cropping. Um, the cropping is the one I use all the time. Just select, I got my little Lego man here. That's what it's going to select. And then cropped. So I would recommend it if you're just using something basic, something simple for your, um, your just standard image editing. For me, it's, it works fantastic.